There are many places to eat in the Mother Beach area. Good for diners, more competition for restaurants. So many restaurants, there are, there are way too many restaurants. But there are a lot of good restaurants too. So I hope we're on the top of that list. So we just, you just have to work a little bit harder. In a crowded field, it's important to stand out. One way to do that is to play something different on the menu and then let people know about it. That formula has worked for more than a decade for the Mayor's House restaurant in Polly's Island. It's good, it's a hook. Uh, and I was looking for a hook and I do, elected to do that and then I started putting it on our signs and our uh, advertisements and it has worked. The hook at the mayor's house is fried lobster, and it's impossible to see any signs or ads for the place without associating that dish with the restaurant. People drove by and saw it on the sign and said, oh, I'm going to have to try that. I get customers who come in and they'll say, you know, I've been looking at that sign for years and I just never stopped in for dinner, but tonight I'm having lobster fried. The main player in the mayor's house restaurant's two-person kitchen is chef Jason Sansone. Fried lobster was one of the dishes he was asked to make when he came to work here. At first I thought they were a little crazy, and then I figured we're down south, they fry everything. There you go. Fried lobster first appeared at the mayor's house as a chef's special. It soon made its way onto the regular menu, and the dish has gone through changes over time as well. Well, the first time it was ever served, it was a typical fried, heavily breaded thing. Now it is a light, delicate, dusted lobster tail. While fried lobster is unusual, it is quite simple to prepare. There's the lobster, butter, a mixture of flour, cornmeal, and spices, plus the deep fryer, heated to 325. Oh, just snip the tails open, try to leave the tail intact, slide the meat out. We bread it, just plain breader, fry it, and then we fry the shell to give it the red look. It's not that difficult as long as you don't overcook the lobster. Lobster is very delicate, and if you have the heat too high or you cook it too long, it doesn't come out very well. You want it to look like a, the texture of a fried shrimp. You know, not really hard and crispy on the outside, just enough crispness that it's not greasy or oily. Sometimes lobster can be dry. Frying it locks in the moisture. It seals the juices in, it doesn't dry it out, and it just, like frying anything, like frying a turkey, it just makes it more, I don't know, succulent. Fried lobster is more common in the Caribbean and parts of Mexico. People here, though, might be a bit perplexed by the notion. We get phone people calling up to, they think we fry the whole lobster, the, the body and everything, not taking the meat out, to see the sign and assume we just throw the whole thing in the fryer. People are kind of taken back at first by the idea of frying a lobster, but once they have it, they, they really enjoy it. The Mayor's House restaurant has a full menu aside from fried lobster, but the signature dish is the most popular. Oh, we'll go through usually about two cases on a slow week, and we can go up to five cases a week. There are roughly 30 in a case, meaning on average, Chef Sansone does close to 20 of them each night. Yeah, I'm pretty friendly with the fryer on a busy night. <laughs> Fried lobster is not just a novelty at the mayor's house. It's a regular part of the diet for the owners and staff, too. Perfect. If I don't like it, it's not in the building. I eat quite a few of them. You can't trust a skinny chef. 